Hey guys, I'm back. Let me see. I'll wait a minute and see if anybody else comes back on. I can't get the blue to go away. It must be something to do with my lighting. And I don't know what it is. I don't know if anybody's out there. <laughs> All right, you guys. Okay, it's pretty. It's still blue. I know. I cannot um, figure out why it's blue. So I'm just going to do the video, even though it's blue, and um, just trust that you'll get the concept. So tonight we're using, sorry about that, you guys. I, I, I'm, I'm stumped. We're using layering leaves, which is everything upside down now? <laughs> <laughs> no, now after everything else, I think it's upside down. Hang on, let me see. Oh, no, wrong one. No, wrong one. No, wrong one. Okay. We're using layering leaves. This is a stamp set in the catalog. I think it's on page 69, and it comes with a bunch. It's not a bundle because it's from last year, but it comes with a punch. And it's very, very popular right now. Lots and lots of people are using it, so I thought it would be a fun card to do tonight. So, basic whisper a uh, basic white thick cardstock layer a uh, card base yellow and then this paper here is from the six by six paper uh, of color families it's a six by six paper so i thought that would be fun we're also going to use or i also cut out um a frame a framelit from this set which is brand new in the mini and it's called nested essentials dies and I love it. Look at all those luscious shapes. Tags. We never have anything that has rounded corners. And then this right here. So I cut out the second largest of this one right here. That one. And then I embossed it because my really generous upline gave me, uh, I want a freebie Friday, she calls it. It's where you submit um, some cards that you've made. And I submitted and my name got randomly drawn. And I got two... Um, embossing folders so I took that shape and I embossed it so to put this together let's start by doing some layering I did test it just just even though I said I didn't play around I didn't play around for 45 minutes but I did test the whole thing and it all was working just fine so I do not know why it's blue and I I'm going to just plow through. That's what you do in showbiz, people. That's what you do. I bet you Lucille Ball could teach me that. Okay. Let me see if I can see some comments. Oh, it's not blue now. Well, that's cool. Hey, and I know. Are you having some Boston Bulls? Oh, very cool. Hey, Marsha. Thanks for telling me that's better. That's always encouraging. Um, are we having fun yet? Oh, Huckles. Technology and me. I can't hear anything. Oh, no. Maybe that was just me trying to plug my another light in. So I'm not sure if that's what was happening on that patty. So I apologize for that um, if you can't hear anything. But hopefully you can hear me now. Okay. Let's see if I can get to a situation where I can see the comments and I can see you guys because that's always helpful. Hey, Mary. Okay. Uh, let's see. Karen, thank you for the encouragement of taking a deep breath because you're all right. That's, when things go wrong, you just got to wing it. You just have got to wing it. Okay. So, I noticed where I placed the um, dimensionals because what I have already pre-done is stamped and cut out some of the leaves and I want them to fit under here. So I wanted to make sure that the dimensionals were not going to be in the way. So see how I did that? But before I assemble that card, let's just put together, let's, let's do one leaf. I'm using li um, Lemon Lime Twist and Garden Green. 
So lemon lime, uh, garden green is going to be my outline of my stamp. And again, this comes from the Lady Lee stamp set. This is the stamp set, and I'm going to be using uh, this leaf and then the inside leaf to um, to do what I want to do. So first thing I'm going to do is the garden green. I will stamp that down. And then I'm going to take the filler and I'm going to use Lemon Line Twist and I'm going to just layer that up like that. A good fit. And then I'm going to take the punch. Let me get these out of the way just because I don't want to put my hands on them. And I will line up the punch like this. So for you guys that are coming to the Chicks Crafts, no, Crafts Chicks and Chocolate event, Karen and I have already started prepping some of the goodies that you're going to be getting, and they are coming out really good, so I'm very excited. So I'm going to do two there, and since I already did, actually I'm going to do this one, and I had done these earlier, so I'm going to switch this one and put in that one. So that's how I want to decorate it. I started to say before I went all crazy with my uh, technology, this is inspired by a, a demonstrator from um, England, I believe. Um, Poodles is what she goes by. She has some, she's really talented. She has some beautiful cards out there. So this is not exactly her card. It's just the, the, the layout is inspired and then I tried to put my own twist to it. So I'm first going to take off all the tops of the dimensionals. I'm going to start by doing that. I'm putting that in the center of my, oops, let me do this so it's up, it's going the correct direction. I just want the, um, the triangles to go upright. So that's one, and then I'm going to just take some of my glue and put it on the bottom of the leaves. I'm going to slide them in here like that. I want to get them in far enough so that, there we go, so that it doesn't stick out over the, over, out, outside over the envelope. So that'll put that there. And then I will do this one and that one. And I'll put this one on this side, kind of the opposite of what it is. And then I will try to slide this one in too. If you can see me, it's getting caught, but I'm going to win. All right, there we go. Very pretty. I love those colors. And then I took the oval from the double oval, oop, oop, wrong one, from the double oval punch, which is, oh, no, on the other side of the room, but I'm gonna do that for that. I'm gonna put that in the middle. And in that stamp set, there's quite a few words. So happy to celebrate you, thanks so much, hello, best wishes for you, sending hugs and thanking of you. So there's a good variety of stamps in there, and I'm gonna use the hello, because this ultimately is probably gonna be a birthday card. So I'm gonna use the word hello, I'm gonna use the garden green, uh, ink. I was going to do black, but I tried it on black and it's very stark. So the garden green goes, it's dark enough that you can read it and it still will look good. Let me put on some dimensionals. So we continue to go in our straight line as all people who use dimensionals should be doing that. <laughs> or not, depending on. Now I'm gonna, I have a purpose for that one that I didn't use. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with that. Or no, I'm gonna, no I'm not. I'm gonna do something else. So that's just gonna go in the middle like that. And then I want something to go on this side. So I'm going to take the, uh, oops, I did the wrong stamp. One moment please. That's the outline. Let me ink that up, put that there. One piece of really fun news I have to share you guys is I did my first soft opening card class at my house and um, it was fantastic. I had two classes, one in the morning, one in the afternoon. It was so much fun. It was so, so nice to see the ladies from the apartment complex. Um, three of them came, which was really sweet of them to drive over and, and do the card and um, do the class. So I love that. And then um, I had two uh, ladies in the morning and a, two neighbors and then a lady from my church. So all total six. So it was really, really nice. 
it was kind of good just to lay, lay everything out and see how it was going to go and where people were going to sit and all that, you know, the detail stuff that I, I felt like I really wanted to work through before I invite the whole neighborhood. So that worked out really, really well. That was a fun, fun day on Saturday. Um, so there's the card, you guys. I used a lot of product to make this card. Um, layering leaves bundles. So I used the stamp set and the punch. I used designer series paper. I used um, the double oval punch. I used another set of dies called nested essential dies. So that's a lot of card of, of um, material on that one card, but it really comes out really nice. It's very, very pretty in person. And since some of you guys said the, the blue has gone away, then I'm hoping you can get a good picture of it. And then just a little inside stamp to kind of bring in the theme. Sometimes I just like to make my cards a different way. You know how we traditionally go this way or we traditionally go that way. It's kind of fun just to turn the card sideways and have it open up this way. So that's just, just to give a different kind of fold. All right. All right, after that bungled beginning, um, if you are joining us on a replay, I tried um, uh, doing the a video and it, we got we got a blue screen so it was not working so I restarted without me being on on the front so um, if you're getting the replay that's kind of why you're getting in, sort of getting in the middle of this I like that right there I might I might add that to it and maybe do one more for up there I kind of like this the three okay so how are you guys anything good going on um I know Teresa that might have been what it was not enough light I'm not sure what happened if, if you guys join later, I'll just re, just do a little shout out to remind everybody that Karen is doing a paper share. Let me get the details again so I can get it right this time. And it's, it is $53 and my email says 76 pieces, but Karen, did you say it's less than 76? Did you say it was 72? I'm not sure exactly, but it's a lot of paper, and it's going to be in six by sixes or it's going to be in six by twelves. It's fifty-three dollars. Uh, it's from the holiday mini catalog, so and you'll be getting nearly every paper that's there, including the specialty papers. So that's going to be a lot of fun. We need three more people to sign up so that we can do one more paper share. So if you've already signed up, we have four, we need three more people. And as I shared last week, Karen's going to do the mini catalog paper shares, and I'm going to do the um, the big catalog paper shares. Uh, we're going to divide that up and share share the uh, opportunity with you guys. So, all right. I hope you guys have a good week. I um, no, you had it backwards. Seventy six sheets are correct. Okay, thanks, Karen. <laughs> what did I say? Sixty seven. Oh, that would not surprise me. That would not surprise me at all. I hope you guys have a very good week. Um, I will be here next Monday night with um, hopefully a little smoother technology, but you we got through it, so I appreciate it. And um, what else? I think that's it. I think that's it. I miss you guys a lot. I love you guys. And I will, I'll try to have some good stories next week. All right. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.